Well, hello there everyone and welcome back to another video here on the JB Visuals YouTube channel. And yet again, I'm actually back with another video of the GoPro Hero 9 uh, Black because of course I've actually bought another brand new accessory. Now you might have watched most recently that I actually talked to you about the uh, light mod which is actually on top of the camera right now. If you haven't seen that video go check it out because of course I actually um, did uh, some testing on the light so of course I actually showed you uh, the differences between um, soft lighting which you can just see here with the diffuser on and of course um, hard lighting as well. So if you haven't checked that video out make sure you go and check it out. It's now online for you to watch. But in this video we're actually going to be talking to you about something very very important um, with the GoPro because of course this brand new accessory is actually going to replace something that is already on the camera which is this. Now of course um, you can't actually replace um, the lens because the lens is actually built into the camera here. Uh, what I'm actually touching now is actually the um, uh, protective housing for the lens. So the lens is already built in but you might be thinking I've actually got a brand new lens but where is this lens? How big is it? And I've actually got it right here in this little box which is very very well designed because that because the lens is actually quite bigger uh, than the one that is actually inside the um, camera so without further ado I will now move on to and um, talk to you about the um, about the lens that I've actually got in this box and then I will then show you how I actually fit this onto the GoPro okay then so let's actually move on to the um, lens so the lens is actually um, inside this little box which I think is very very well designed and when I actually opened this up for the first time yesterday I was absolutely um, excited to see this uh, brand new lens so I'm actually going to open it up for you now so all you do you just literally uh, take the top off here and then this is actually the back of the lens but when, when I actually take it out so all you do you just it's going to be a bit fiddly but um, yeah just, just bear with Bear with me, I'll do it off camera so we can actually see. So it's just literally, I'll just do that. And there you go, that is your max lens uh, for the camera and it's very, very well designed. It literally um, fits easily onto the camera. I, I did have trouble doing this for the first time yesterday but it literally worked because of course, um, I'll talk to you a bit about more in a minute. So here you've got the um, camera itself. It looks very, very big. And this is actually going to be very, very useful uh, to when it actually comes down to uh, filming future vlogs. And the footage is going to look so, so much better um, when it comes down to uh, filming vlogs uh, later on in the, well, in the next month or so. Because, of course, my next vlog will be coming up, uh, which I'm very excited about. So you can see here, it is a really, really nice design. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to show you how to actually put this Max Lens mod into the GoPro while replacing the current um, protective housing that's already on the GoPro. So let's do it. Okay, so here we have our um, current protective housing um, that's actually already on the camera. So what we actually need to do, we actually need to um, twist it anti-clockwise um, to actually remove the actual protective housing uh, for the um, lens that's already built into the camera so what you need to do is to get your hand get your thumb and your finger and then just twist it oh, like that sorry I didn't mean to do that yeah it, it, it just literally just came off so and then of course you can actually put it back in if you wanted to so you can just make sure that um, it actually lines up into place uh, like that yeah like I said, I'll just show you so it just twists off like that just nice and slowly until it actually um, pops out. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to show you how to actually put in the brand new Max Lens mod which I literally just showed you. So I'm just going to um, uh, get it out again because of course I actually need to show you the back of it first uh, to make sure that you actually know where it actually goes. So the way I actually like to do this is to make sure uh, put the Max Lens mod uh, next to the um, uh, lens and you need to make sure it's actually lined up uh, correctly and what I actually also like to do is to actually make sure that the that the text Max Lens Mod is actually facing downwards. So all we need to do is to connect it like this. 
and then we just need to uh, rotate it clockwise until we get like a um, snap. It might be a bit fiddly to start off with, but um, just making sure it's positioned nicely. So you are going to have to do like a bit of um, tightening up with the uh, max lens. I'm just going to make sure. Yep, so that's all secured into place. Yep, it's all secured nicely. Make sure I uh, check in the top and the bottom and then here we actually have our actual um, max lens and you can just see look how different the lens is it's actually got so much bigger and plus it will even get more um, background shots as well and the vlogs will and the, the footage will come out even bigger which I think is going to be absolutely amazing so you can actually see a lot more in the background but what I'm actually going to do to you now I'm actually going to um, switch on the GoPro and actually tell you how to actually um, use the um, Max Lens mod, so let's go. Right, so here I've actually got my um, GoPro actually switched on. Now, actually looking at it, it's really, really good so far, but there's actually a problem with it because what you've actually got to do is you've actually got to change uh, some of the settings that we actually need to do. There's actually a setting we actually need to um, turn on because if you don't actually use a setting, then all you're gonna get is all the footage is actually gonna be stretched out. It's gonna be like, a, it's, it's actually like a bit of a fisheye at the moment, because of course you can just see everything's a bit bent over, it's like all squashed up and that. So all we need to do is we actually need to um, go into our options. So to do this, we actually need to um, just swipe up. And then when we actually look at it, we actually need to go to the um, fourth option uh, in the right hand corner, about, below the padlock which you can actually see uh, just here I don't think you'll be able to see my hand but I'm just gonna point it so yeah so this um, icon here where where it actually has the uh, max lens um, icon so we're just going to click that if it works there we go so uh, the max lens is actually on and yeah you can actually see the footage looks so much better and when this is actually switched on because of course everything is actually going to be uh, bigger you'll be able to see it a lot more clearer which I think is absolutely amazing and yeah we just need to make sure uh, that we go into some of our other settings as well so we're just going to go into max video and we're just going to go into that little pencil icon and we need to make sure that everything is set correctly so we've got it on 2.7 K 60 we've got the hyper smooth on and the option that I actually really like on this is the horizon lock option because what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to um, switch over to the GoPro and actually demonstrate to you what horizon lock actually does and this is a very, very good option uh, to use because it's going to be so much easier uh, uh, to film your vlogs and other videos that you actually want to do for the channel. So what we'll do is we'll switch over to the um, uh, GoPro and to see what horizon lock actually does. Right, so first of all, I'm actually going to give you a, um, well, just um, a quick uh, demonstration what it what it's like with the Horizon Lock. But what I'm actually going to do first, I'm actually going to show you um, what it's like without Horizon Lock first. So if I was to actually turn this um, GoPro a complete 360 degrees, uh, which is like this, so I'll start off like this. What it's going to do, it's literally just going to, uh, the camera is actually just going to follow. So if I just do it like this, the camera will just go upside down. And then if we go for the same here, yeah, so the, so the um, footage will go upside down, uh, which will not be very, very good at all. But if I was to actually um, switch it into Horizon Lock, watch what actually happens. So I'm just going to um, uh, pause this and then come back and use Horizon Lock. Right, okay, so I'm now going to use um, um, Horizon Level. So no, sorry, horizon lock coming, so the horizon uh, lock. So if I was to actually turn my camera a complete 360 degrees, you will notice that the footage is completely locked and leveled. It doesn't even, uh, well, it moves a tiny bit, but it doesn't even um, go upside down. So if I was to show you like this, if I was to turn it another 360 degrees, you can see it doesn't go upside down. It literally just stays leveled it doesn't uh, jiggle and jaggle around it literally just stays completely level it doesn't move it just stays um, in the exact 
same position. You can just see here, it is a lot smoother as well uh, compared to the um, yeah the other the other settings I've actually used. But this is actually going to be the best um, one to use, and I can't literally wait uh, to use it when it comes down to filming future vlogs. So there you have it, the Max Lens mod. I think this is absolutely a brilliant lens to have for the GoPro Hero 9 because of course, like I've just shown you, when I um, did it the first time without the horizon lock, the footage actually just follows the camera, it goes upside down which isn't that great. But if you actually activate the horizon lock uh, feature on the GoPro, it literally just stays levelled and locked in, it literally doesn't move, it, it just goes, um, you know, up and down and that's literally it, it doesn't... Um, follow the camera, it's literally just levelled and I think this is absolutely a wonderful um, option to have because of course the vlogs, the footage is going to look absolutely incredible when you uh, come down to edit and then you're going to go to yourself, wow that footage looks absolutely amazing, I'm actually pleased I actually got the um, um, Max Lens mod because of course with the other one it was a bit smaller but this one's so much better, it's going to you know capture that footage in more detail and you, you'll be able to fit a lot more in there as well which I think will be absolutely amazing but before we actually go though I just want to talk to you about um, this so you can actually use this to cover up the lens so if I was to show you so for example if you were to finish uh, filming you can literally just use that to cover it up so it doesn't get dirty or have any dust in it it just protects it from um, you know with fingerprints and that and the good thing is you also get a cloth as well uh, to clean your lens with, so uh, yeah, yeah, you might be able to see it. it says GoPro on it, so yeah, I think this is a really, really good idea because you know, for example, once you've done filming, when you take it back home, you can just give the um, lens mod a quick clean, and then you'll then be ready uh, to use it whenever you uh, film again next. But yeah, there you go. That is literally um, showing you how the Max lens mod actually works, and I'm so, so pleased with it. Like I said. If I just get rid of it, there you go, nice big lens, you know, just to capture that footage in more detail and I cannot wait to start using uh, this um, lens mod um, in the, ne the next time I do vlogging, which will hopefully be very soon. But listen, thank you very much for watching uh, this video and can I just say, just look how many accessories I have on my um, GoPro now and you can see it literally started off uh, as a basic camera, I've now actually added some upgrades. So I've got a media mod uh, with a, a microphone, wind screen, which you can just see here. I've now got a light mod, uh, so I can actually go to dark places and add in some lighting. And then, of course, I've also got the um, the Max Lens mod as well to capture the footage in greater detail. And, of course, the um, GoPro uh, shorty tripod, which I can use to carry in my hand when I'm actually um, vlogging either to myself, facing myself, or um, vlogging um, to some of the places I visit. But thank you very much for watching this um, video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Like I said, if you haven't checked out the other accessories I've shown you, they are in a um, playlist. Um, I've also shown you how to use the app. I've shown you the light mod, the media mod, and like I said, just now, I've literally just got a playlist where they're all kept, so you can actually go back and watch them. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Remember, keep on filming and keep on editing. Bye for now.